it's pretty early. What's up, everybody? What's up, Matthew? Um, how are y'all doing today, first of all? How are y'all doing today? I have a few thoughts that I wanted to talk about. Um, I really want to say, like, tunnel vision is so important this year like your energy is so much stronger this year so whatever you put your focus into that is what's going to grow and not a lot of things deserve your energy not a lot of things deserve to grow because when you keep feeding weed a weed like a weed water, it's going to keep growing. I've realized you can't look to the outside world for your answers. You can't look for the outside world. You can't look to the outside world for your validation. You got to trust your gut. If you like something, do it. If you don't like it, don't do it everybody's gonna have an opinion you when you go out into the world looking for the answer you're gonna find 10 people who's telling you to do this and you're gonna find 10 people who's telling you to do the opposite you know you're always gonna have these people over here who feel like oh you shouldn't have done it like that and then you're gonna have these people over here that say oh you should have done it like this though and guess what happens when you decide oh you know what? i'm gonna listen to them if that don't go if it don't go right, you're going to be beating yourself up like, "Dang, I should have just trusted myself." It's easier to dis to accept an L when you know that it was your choice. The last thing you want to do is have an idea for something but not act on it because of somebody else, and then somebody else go do that idea that you said and blows up. So, you know, do not look to the outside world for no type of validation. Don't look to the outside world for your answers. Don't look for people to tell you, you know, oh, this idea will be good. Like, you know, because you'll have an idea. You'll have a song. You'll have a, a picture, whatever it is. And you'll go to somebody and be like, yo, what do you think about this? Bro, you got to be careful who you trust with that kind of power to ask them for their opinion. Because a lot of people's opinions can affect you. But it's like their opinion is like it's not even coming from a good place. Some people will put their fear into you. That's why I say you shouldn't be asking everybody for their opinion. And don't tell nobody what you're going to do because I didn't seen people like you'll be like, yo, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And they'll try to talk you out of it so they can do the idea first. Like, for real, you hear what I just said? People, when you tell people what you're about to do, people will be like, no, don't do it, don't do it, because they're going to go act on your idea first. Like, it's so important that we realize that we really have to be so self-sufficient self self and focus on our way of thinking and trust ourselves. Too many times, how, how can I start telling Christians like you do? You got to find a vendor. Too many times we allow ourselves to be affected by other people's judgment as if their judgment is correct too many times we find ourselves allowing people to tell us how we should live or too many times we find ourselves not trusting ourselves you know what i'm saying why do y'all not trust yourselves y'all will have a great idea and then go ask somebody else what they think about the idea instead of trusting yourself. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at I'm Sticks River. Y'all have great ideas. Y'all have great plans. But here's the thing. 
you think differently hey, listen to what i'm about to say you think differently than everybody else so if you are the black sheep and you think differently than the masses why would you expect the masses to understand what you're thinking about if your dream and your goal is to change the world why would you expect someone who is still stuck in the world or stuck in the system to be able to explain what you're trying to change why would you expect them to help to understand like for example you could have an idea like yo man i want to create this new device that that gives everybody free water and they're gonna be like whoa why are you doing that that's impossible da -da 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 -da. of course they're gonna tell you that's impossible but guess what everything that is possible now was at one point impossible it's only impossible until somebody makes it possible Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Arm Sticks River and subscribe to me on YouTube. So the thing that I want to tell y'all is because I feel like there's a specific person that's probably going around on TikTok, going on, on Instagram, looking for a sign. And the only thing that I can say is that whatever idea that you've been thinking about, you've been thinking about something, whatever idea you've been thinking about, whatever art you've been wanting to act on, whatever it is that you've been wanting to act on, this is the sign to do it. But you have to do it unapologetically. You can't listen because guess what if you don't do what you dream to do unapologetically then what's going to happen is is you are going to allow other people to get you off your course somebody be like well i think you should do it like this and you know you want to do it like this but because you're not going unapologetically on what you want to do you allowing somebody else's opinion to get you off your course you think lebron james taking other people advice like he has his trainers he has who he's worked with but everybody was probably telling him oh lebron you should go to here you should go here you should go here you should go here not everybody is in your position to help make decisions like you need to you asking you asking people for you asking people for their opinion who don't even think like you you're asking people for their opinion who don't even understand you it's like you're setting yourself up it's like you purposefully go to these people who don't understand you to hear the devil advocate side and then get yourself down you know what i'm saying you gotta understand bro nothing in this world is is like you, nothing is obtainable you can achieve everything but the thing is that the way you think is what's stopping you you would go out into the world and pick out an outfit because somebody said seeking approval you will go out into the world and pick out an outfit you think that everybody excuse me everybody around you would like knowing that you had an outfit that you wanted to try something new in you know what i'm saying somebody said don't laugh it's a boogie in your nose i hope you're not talking about my nose piercing or my septum you know what i'm saying so, like, the one thing that I'm trying to tell y'all is 2022, dog, whatever you want to make reality can happen, but you really got to change the way you think because I know these first two days probably been tough for January. These first two days probably been tough for the year. But you got to understand, bro, the only reason why things look as negative as it is is because of the way you perceiving it. The way you perceiving it. Your worst day is what somebody is praying for. Let me say that one more time. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at I'm Sticks River. Your worst day is what somebody is praying for. You hear what I'm saying? Even a year ago, what you was manifesting is exactly where you are right now. For example, let's say a year ago, you didn't have money to eat. This year, you have a stable job. You have a stable income. It may not be as much as you want. It may not be as much as you want, but that first manifestation came true. So if that first manifestation can come true, it can another one can come true. And you got to understand this. Listen, listen, your nose ring is distracting. Consider taking it out when you're presenting your professional content. Yeah, nah. This is not corporate, my love. Anyways, you have to understand that you have to have a positive mindset people are consistently 
focused on the negative. When a situation comes into your life, you have to choose to think positive about it. Because the thing about it is that when you decide, oh, I'm going to let this get me down. What happens is, is that you put more weight on yourself. You put more weight on yourself. When you find yourself, because listen, sometimes the universe will test you. The universe will ask you, you know, oh, what is it that you want? You'll say, oh, I want money. Okay, then the universe is what the universe is going to do is the universe is going to see how much faith you really believe in this. Do you truly believe that you can manifest the money? You're going to be like, yes. And then what they're going to do is they're going to make you lose your job. They're going to take away a stream of income from you. They're going to do something like that. And you're going to be like, God, why is this happening to me? And they're going to be like, well, you said you wanted to be rich. You said you wanted money. So we have to get rid of this opportunity that you're in now to give you something better. Some of y'all want change, but y'all afraid of what truly comes with it. You'll tell God, oh God, I want my life to completely change. But then when God pull up to your door, ready to tear your whole life down to bring something new, you're like, wait, 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 wait. So you got to understand too, sometimes the reason why your new beginning or what you, what you want to manifest isn't coming into your life is because you won't let go of the old. How you expect to get new clothes in your closet, but you your whole closet filled with old clothes? How you expect to get new furniture in your house, but your house still filled with old furniture? How you expect to put the new floors down in your house if your old floors are still there? You got to take it up. You got to get rid of it to get rid to, to put some of the new in. But some of y'all are so stuck on what's comfortable. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, all right? I'm Sticks River. I also have a crystal shop. If you want to support, go ahead and copy some crystals. Link in the bio. All right. Like I said, listen, man, your mind is what's stopping you. Real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. I'm about to, I'm about to, real talk. I'm about to tell you the truth right now. And it, it may not be what you want to hear. It may not be what you want to hear, but I'm about to tell you the truth. Your mind is stopping you from truly having what it is that you want period i'm gonna keep it a buck with you and after i spit this if it if it if it hits make sure you go ahead and follow me on instagram you need to stop with that thinking that you do your thinking is stopping you from succeeding your anxiety is caused by your thinking your overthinking is caused by your thinking your your lack of self-esteem is caused by your thinking your lack of confidence is caused by your thinking. The reason you have no money is because of your thinking. The reason why you're broke is because of your thinking. It's not because you don't have the ability to make money. It's not because you don't have the ability to make money. Everybody has the ability to make money. Everybody has the ability to do what they want, to have whatever it is that they want. But it's your thinking that is stopping you because guess what? Belief, belief is the key to all success every single person that is successful you will ask them how is it that makes you successful the first thing that they're going to mention to you is about the way that they think right and i know somebody's probably laughing at the fact that i said don't think but let me tell you something michael jordan kobe bryant Dwayne wade Whenever they started to think, that's when they start to mess up on the court. That's when they start to let the thoughts invade their mind. That's when they started to get distracted. But the moment that they calmed their mind and they stopped thinking and they just did, they, it came more fluently. It came more fluently, right? So, and when I say don't think, obviously I don't mean completely shut off the mind. What I'm saying is control the way that you're thinking control the way that you're thinking about situations because a lot of times a situation is neither good or bad it's us who creates an opinion about a situation that makes us think that is good or bad for example somebody would think that oh them losing their job oh my gosh i just lost my job you're oh my god this is terrible this is terrible somebody with a positive mindset would you know what if I lost my job, that means something new is coming in. If I lost my job, then I know that I'm supposed to be getting better. If I lost my job, then I know that I'm supposed to be working on something else. If I lost my job, then I know that my heart and my soul is supposed to be somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, the thing about it is that we, as people overly think about things that cause damage to our health 
What people don't realize is that your thinking can directly affect your physical health. So if your thinking can affect your physical health, your thinking can change your life. Right or right. Because we know that stress. Stress is one of the main things that cause cancer. Stress is a form of thinking. It's a state of mind. Stress is a state of mind. So a state of mind could change your life. How many times when you was in a good mood, like, you know, when you wake up them days and you're just like, yo, I just feel like in a good mood. When you wake up in a good mood, 10 out of 10 that day that you lived through that day where you had good stuff just was happening to you. Because the thing about it is that when you are filled with joy, infection, you're infectious, everything that matches your energy will come to you like a magnet and this is not a a, a idea this is not a, a, a an opinion a hypothesis this is a fact whatever frequency that you're in is the frequency that you will attract make sure y'all check out my crystal shop link in the bio and follow me on instagram it's a law just like the law of gravity it's not a, oh if you think about it it could happen no it is a physical law It is a law. All is mine. The law of mentalism. All is created by thought. You want to know how I can prove to you that everything is created by thought? Let's say, boom, somebody somebody got this, somebody, this, this lighter, right? Somebody has a brand for a lighter. If I say today, the person who created this had the idea, oh, I want to create a brand for a lighter and I want to call it Bic. All of this came from a thought. All of this came from a thought. Okay, so if every single idea comes, an idea, every project, everything physical that is created came from an idea. An idea is a thought. So when you see how powerful your thought is, your thought is like the clay. You know what I'm saying? And then when you put in that action, then you get the physical. Stress increases your risk of developing cancer and other diseases. Exactly. Exactly. So if stress, listen, here's another thing that y'all didn't know. Your body, right? So your thoughts send signals to your body, right? And when your thoughts send signals to your body, your thoughts can trigger emotions. Now, your emotions are energy in motion, right? Now, these emotions will be like chemical reactions in your body. For example, When you get anxious, what happens? You can feel something in your stomach, right? When you get anxious, right, you feel certain things in your body. Some people start to sweat. Some people start to cry. Some people get a gut feeling, right? Anxiety is something of the mental, but it's causing a physical reaction, a thought process you simply thinking oh am i okay is something wrong starts to trigger your anxiety and then once it triggers your anxiety all of those thoughts start to trigger emotions now when you start to trigger emotions what you're doing is you are releasing you are releasing these frequencies you are releasing these um these frequencies you're releasing a chemical reaction out of your body and what happens is is that your physical reality starts to change because of that right so again if you don't understand this is not for you period if you don't understand this is not for you period you know what i'm saying when you go to work and you get stressed out, something at work stresses you out, and you go home, and you go stressed out about it even more, you got to understand that your body doesn't believe in past, present, future. Your body only believes in the now. So when you think about something in the past, your body is going to think that you're going through it right now. So if yesterday you were stressed out, and you think about it today, your body is going to think that you are dealing with that stress right now right now so imagine if you can feel the joy of what it is that you want to manifest your body will think that you're going through the joy right now 
right? I'm, you know what I'm saying? How can we stop overthinking or have a better mindset? So if you find yourself having a negative mindset, you have to reprogram yourself. The only reason why you have a negative mindset is because of your environment and the information that you have taken in. You have learned from your parents. You have learned from people around you that that's the way to think. For example, how many of y'all parents would say, oh, the struggle is real? Or how many of y'all parents would be like, oh, I'm broke? Or how many of y'all parents would be like, oh, I don't got the money for this? Your parents were affirming a type of lifestyle. Your parents were affirming things and saying things that affirmed that they had no money or affirmed that they were losing money. So what happens is, is that you start to pick up on that vernacular. You realize that the English language is a spell. So certain things that you say, it can trigger energy. Because guess what? Back in the day in ancient Africa, they spoke in their language. and in, in their language, everything was about having the tongue touch the top of the roof of the mouth and every time that their tongue would touch the roof of the mouth the mouth it would activate the pineal gland do you realize that in english we speak so many words but a lot of these words don't even allow us to speak with the top of the tongue you have the natives that spoken you know all africans that spoke in different languages that always represented and always stood with using the top of their mouth that's not for no reason. Them rubbing at the top of their mouth would trigger and would actually massage that pineal gland. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Back in the day, slave masters literally had to put muzzles over the women, the African slave women. And the reason why they did that was because the African slaves were able to speak spells and make their master, their master drop dead with their spells because magic is real period right so anyways when you understand that what you speak is very powerful you have to be careful what you say about yourself how many times have we seen a music artist sing about dying or sing about you know what i'm saying and then it ends up happening because it's a real thing it's a real thing and if you're black and you're telling me music um magic is not real you know what i'm saying like you know and for my non-melanated people who do understand that magic is real, please help educate the rest of them. You know, so the one thing that I want to say is that you have to be careful what you say about yourself. You have to be careful what you think about yourself. Some of y'all talk so negatively about yourself that you would never talk to your friends the way you talk to yourself. Think about that. If you talk to yourself so negatively that you would never talk to your friends the way that you talk to yourself you should understand that you're not showing yourself enough love you will say stuff to yourself like oh i'm so stupid oh i'm this. your mind doesn't know that you're joking your mind doesn't know that you're serious so when you tell your mind that you're stupid your mind says oh, okay it your mind is a servant so whatever you tell your mind your mind will do it's like a child your mind will do whatever your mind will follow the commands it don't matter if it's negative or positive. Your mind will follow the commands. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I'm Sticks River and subscribe to me on YouTube. I have a crystal shop that y'all can check out. That y'all can check out. Link is in the bio. But let me explain something because I want to get to the root of all of this. Because I know a lot of people, it's very hard to believe the things that I'm saying when you're just seeing it now in this day and age. But everything that I'm talking about has been going on since ancient times, since ancient Egyptian time, ancient Egyptian times. Back in ancient Egypt, they were doing rituals. They were they were doing intentions. They had altars. They were doing meditations. They were doing sound bowl healing. They were using crystals. Ask yourself, ask yourself, the only place that was able to build pyramids like that, first of all, uh, the people today can't even figure out how the pyramids were built. The people today can't even understand how ancient Egypt has such freaking advanced technology that we can't even have access to today. So ask yourself, if this ancient civilization was using things like crystals, was doing meditation, was teaching all of this sacred geometry, was talking about astrology, 
a lot of people don't believe in astrology and don't realize that astrology has been here longer than them let me say that one more time a lot of people don't believe astrology but astrology been here longer than you You know what I'm saying? And then what y'all try to do is, not y'all, but what people try to do is they try to discredit Egypt, not realizing that America has been copycatting Egypt this whole time. Look at the Egyptian, um, look at look at the obelisk or the obelisk. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. I'm pretty sure it's obelisk. Look at the obelisk and then look at the Washington Monument. Look at Look at the obelisk and then look at the Washington Monument. <laughs> look at the obelisk. And then look at the Washington Monument. You got to understand, they don't want you to know the truth. Let me explain something to y'all. Here's, here's, another, here's another download that I got. And for my Christians, you might get upset, but listen to me, right? In ancient Egypt, they used the serpent, the snake, as a symbolism of awakening. And the reason why they pay attention to what I'm saying, because what I'm about to say is some true information that you probably never heard before. In ancient Egypt, they used the symbolism of a snake or a serpent or a cobra to represent the awakening, the Kundalini. If you understand the snake and Kundalini, then you know what I'm talking about. The Kundalini talks about it being about the spine. The Kundalini is up the spine because that's what the chakras, right? If you look at a snake and you look at your spine, your snake and the spine looks exactly alike. With, so within, so without. So if you look at your spine, your spine looks exactly like a snake. Right? Mind you, the kundalini energy has to go up your spine. When you look up the tree of life, sometimes you can see a serpent wrapped around the tree of life. In the Bible, in the first story, they talked about the serpent who had the wisdom. But but hold on, hold on. In ancient Egypt, they would wear a, a, a serpent on their third eye to represent wisdom, that they were the awakened one. So, but in the Bible, the serpent had the fruit that, get, that had the wisdom. But the serpent was demonized. Y'all don't think it's crazy that... In the Bible, they're telling you that you're not allowed to have the same knowledge as God. But then within the same breath, tell us that we are made in his exact image and we need to be like God. How can we not be? You want us to be like God, but then you want us to feel like we can't be like God at the same time. You demonize the idea of having wisdom because you told us from the Bible that we should stay in ignorance. So in ancient Egypt, they're glorifying the serpent and, and using the serpent as a representation of opening the third eye. But in the Bible, they're demonizing the serpent because the serpent is trying to give wisdom to Adam and Eve. In the Bible, they'll tell you, you are made in his image. But you can't even think of yourself like a god. And, and, and you know what's crazy? Like, you know, I just, I just think it's crazy how brainwashing they make it. Somebody said that's not what made in his image means. So what does it mean? We are made in his image. What does that mean then? right like we need to and here's the thing here's the thing i don't understand because y'all gotta y'all here's the thing this is why y'all get gaslighted and this is why y'all get tricked so much out in this reality y'all let these higher elites gaslight you for example my black people especially my melanated people in the bible they don't tell you he's white, black, nothing, right? But they keep pushing onto you that it's a white God. Why is it that almost every... I, you know, when I go to Walmart, Family Dollar, all of these major corporations, 
and they have these Christian. Why is there? Why is it always? It's like the default setting is white. And then you tell black people we are made in his image, but we're looking at a white man. How is a black person who could have been traumatized by slavery? How is a white, how is a black person who was traumatized by slavery has PTSD by slavery supposed to look up to this white Jesus? And then my thing is that, like, you know, somebody said the new Bible, maybe what, like the new Bible, the old Bible. Y'all need to understand that all the information from the universe that you need to have is within inside of you. You are looking at a man-made book man made by a man that probably had slaves you're going by a man-made book by a guy who probably has slaves himself right come on now come on now the same people back in the day that was really so hard about that Bible were slave masters. The people who read that Bible and went by that Bible the hardest were slave masters. If you were in an abusive relationship, if you were in an abusive relationship, right? And your abuser wrote a book on how to live life. Why would you follow that book knowing that that was your abuser? That was your oppressor. You want me to study the same religion as my oppressor? You want me to study the same religion as my oppressor? Mm. Oh, and then America is built on the education of certain people, Albert Einstein, Nikolai Tesla. Um, we love the art of Mozart, not realizing that all of these people who were catalysts in America went to mystery schools. Mystery schools were started in Egypt. So they didn't even get their education from an American educational system. They got their education from Africa. Everybody wants to believe in the Greeks. Not realizing that Socrates learned in Egypt. All these other religions, their, their teacher, most of them learned and studied in Egypt. Everybody want to sit here, oh, Socrates said this, Plato said this, but they learned from Egypt. And then you got people like... Y'all would believe ancient Greek over ancient Egypt, not realizing that ancient Greek was directly inspired by ancient Egypt. And they say it themselves. They say it themselves. They say it. Oh, Hermes Trismegistus was actually inspired by the Houthi, the ancient Egyptian god, the ancient Egyptian god. What history class is this? This is the history class of all the information that they've hidden from you. Right? Like, here's another thing that you don't know about. The Bible has lied about ancient Egypt. The Bible has told you that ancient Egypt is only 6,000 years old. But when you go to ancient Egypt, right? Because there's studies on this. And you look at the actual artifacts, the Sphinx, the pyramids. You can see that there is water weathering on those Sphinx. That proves that the Sphinx was actually over 65,000 years old. But the Bible is telling you that it's 6,000 so it can fit the story of Moses. But guess what? Ancient Egyptian has hieroglyphics telling their whole story. There is no account of Moses. There is no accounts of Joseph in the whole ancient Egyptian story. The ancient Egyptians have written down their history so you to see. You're able to, 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 these Europeans are able to dig up ancient Egyptian bodies. You got King Tut, you got all of these Egyptian goddesses that you were able to find. But there is no, no, where's Joseph? Where's Moses? And then 
Y'all are not understanding that they're taking these stories from the ancient Egyptian stories from the book of the dead. First of all, look at the cross and look at the onk. <laughs> look at the cross and look at the onk. We already know. Listen to me. Listen to me. The cross and the onk. The onk represents masculine and feminine energy. You got to look at the European Western way that they were running America. When they were running America, everything was about the masculine. So, of course, they're going to make the cross only masculine. See, Leia, Ryan Jimenez. You feel me? They make the cross only masculine. You no longer have the circle on top because that represents the feminine. Remember, remember. Back in the day, women weren't able to get the same jobs as men. Remember back in the day, women weren't getting the respect like men was. That's because it was a masculine, it was, a, oh, men ruled the world. So you got to understand why they would make a symbol like the cross masculine. They removed the femininity from it. They removed the femininity from it. The story of Moses was stolen. The story of Moses is actually the Atlantic battle from King Tut and Nefertiti. But hey, man, you know, I know not everybody is ready to wake up. Not everybody is ready to wake up. You know? And that's okay. But really ask yourself, why is it that they try to tell us that everything in ancient Egyptian was fake, but we have actual proof of what was going on in ancient Egypt. And then you try to tell us that this Christianity story is real, but you have no proof. You have no burials. You have nothing to show us from them days. You're not asking yourself, why is there pyramids on the, on the U S dollar when the pyramids are in ancient Egypt? Ask yourself. Ask yourself. You know what I'm saying? Look at, look, let me ask you something. Look at the medical sign. Look at the medical sign. For, for hospitals, the medical sign. The medical sign is literally a caduceus. The medical sign is the caduceus why are you using an ancient egyptian symbolism the kundalini exactly you're using these this symbolism for medical that has nothing to do with each other and you're talking about hermes but no remember hermes is stolen from ancient egyptian god the hootie you know what i'm saying what are mystery schools? In ancient Egypt, they had mystery schools, and these mystery schools would teach sacred geometry. They would teach cosmology. Cosmology is the study of the stars. They would teach magic. They would teach alchemy. Like, come on now. The freaking pyramids were emitting frequencies that were able to heal people. The pyramids were... Do you know, they built a pyramid that had the exact coordinates that match the speed of light. Bruh, the Sphinx, the Sphinx is a lion. Tell me why the Sphinx faces the constellation of Leo. Bruh, let me say that one more time. You know the statue, the Sphinx? The Sphinx is a Leo. Like, I mean, the Sphinx is a lion, right? Why is the Sphinx sign directly facing the constellation of Leo? Like, the pyramids emit healing frequency. And then you want to tell me crystals, crystals are not real. And it's like, bruh. You want me to believe, right? Hold on. And I posted, dang, I posted a picture. Do I have it? People, people always want to talk about, oh, crystal's not real. This not real, bro. Excuse me. Clear quartz is used a lot in technology, including watches, 
radios, transmitters, and receivers, and memory chips, and computers because it can store, amplify, and transform energy. I'm not doing this for, for just because it's fun. This is science. What ancient Egyptians were studying was math and science. Spirituality is a is literally math and science put together. Right? And if you want to find somewhere to go ahead and purchase crystals that are actually real and high quality, you can click the link in my bio, click crystal shop. That's just if you don't have anywhere to get your crystals. But like I said, this is I got this book from Barnes and Nobles. It's about crystals. Clear quartz is used a lot in technology, including watches, radios, transmitters, and receivers, and memory chips. Where you get your knowledge, bro? I'm showing you right here. I'm showing you right here. I'm literally showing you. I think you're thinking about a different type of energy, bro. What kind of energy I'm thinking about? Books, books, scientists, I watch Gaia, I'm on YouTube, I'm constantly looking at articles, I'm always researching. This book is just called Crystals. The book is The Crystal Witch, see there you go. I don't know the exact book, Gaia. You know? You see, I got, look, look, you see, I always have protection on me. And here's the thing. In ancient Egypt, ancient Egyptians, because people don't believe magic is real. In ancient Egypt, they used to have, the, the, you, if you look back in the day, these Egyptians, their necklaces look just like ours. They would use lapis lazuli and they would create the evil eye, like the, the eye of Ra. And they would create it in lapis lazuli to protect themselves from evil magic or negative frequencies. So let me ask you this, the same people, the same people who founded sacred geometry or understood sacred geometry before we could, the same people that had their freaking pyramids emitted frequencies that was healing people are talking about crystals and you think I'm not going to, exactly, amulets, and you think I'm not going to listen? Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. If the Egyptians weren't onto something, I don't think. The white people, the Europeans, would be digging them up. Let me say that one more time. I don't think that the white people would be digging up the Egyptians if they weren't onto something. You get what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, I recommend people to study that, not even just about crystals and don't think, oh, I need crystals. You don't need crystals. Crystals was just a tool. I want to quote you with that one. Quote me with what? With that one that I just said. All this knowledge, but she still feared life after death. Yep, because you know me so well. You know my beliefs. You know how I wipe my behind. You know where I live. You know how, yep, you know me so well. You are so right. Everything you say about me is so right. Yep. What's the topic stakes? We were talking about, um, I was breaking down how ancient Egypt was using, you know, all of their technology. You know what I'm saying? Can you study Egyptian mystery school online? Of course not. They tore all those schools down. They didn't want that information getting out. They don't want that information getting out. They don't want that information getting out. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. They be thinking that they eat it with these comments. Child, I don't even be worried about them. I honestly just use it as a practice to look at people's insecurities and, and fears when they come at me like that. Because, you know, I just think it's weird because you really don't have to be here. But you're here. So something is intriguing you. You know? How do I get protection? So... One way that I protect myself is with crystals. In ancient Egypt, they use lapis lazuli, they use black tourmaline and clear quartz. Clear quartz is the main 
crystal that is so powerful because that is the crystal that is used in technology if you want to go ahead and check out my crystal shop go ahead and look in the comments i put the website down below it's also in the link in my bio click crystal shop now the reason why i say now you guys may be like well she's just trying to do this listen bro if you've been here before then you know what's up when i talk about these crystals i live by this i live by this i live by this hold on hold on because just in case just in case you know hold on hold on where, where, where we at where we at look i got pictures of just studying trying to find out i don't play bro i don't play i do not play i do not play come on now look at me crystal drip Yup, CIA, CIA, FBI, they hiding a whole bunch of information. Has a crystal ever moved on its own to you? No, I've never seen that happen. The crystal shop that gets sold out sticks knows her stuff. Listen, and that's the thing. Like, I've people will have will ask me any question about a crystal, and I don't know exactly what crystal. And I'm like, y'all really think I would be studying this stuff if I wasn't really about it? What are your crystals made out of? what that's real gold right here this is real gold this is not gold this is gold but this is not gold this is not gold this is like gold plated this is gold though and my necklace is gold and my bracelet is gold but that's about it even then like i decided that if i was ever gonna get jewelry i'm gonna get gold why am i gonna get gold because guess what Ancient Egyptians was using gold. Gold has worth. People buy diamonds, and these diamonds don't have no worth. That's them. That's that's freaking Western people selling you things to try and make money off of you. Gold has real worth. But like I say, man, if you want to get into crystals, go ahead and ask me whatever question you got. I'll put you on right now. Tell you what crystals are good for you. Right. The one thing that I say though is, if you are just getting into your crystal journey, the first crystal to get is clear quartz. If you uh what goes metaphysical listen if you are getting into crystals the first crystal you should have is clear quartz opening your third eye i have chevron amethyst on the website that's perfect for opening your third eye i i love to wear my chevron amethyst is the purple one right there for broken hearts get rose quartz what crystals aid in shifting realities malachite what crystal is good for anxiety amethyst and rose quartz i don't know much about sapphire what about birthstones? Birthstones are dope, but I feel like if you really want to get the best out of your crystal, you need to figure out what it is that you're looking for. What's a good one to start with? Rose quartz, clear quartz, amethyst. The link is in the BioClick Crystal Shop. The one thing that I will tell you is that these crystals sell out immediately. 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 So, what, when do you ship off orders? So, I just shipped off orders a couple days ago. I'll ship off orders again this weekend. What's we'll say Wednesday this weekend, like Friday, Saturday. What's a good one to get? What's a good one to get when you have lost a loved one? Rose quartz to stop evil eye. Get black tourmaline, obsidian, or get um lapis lazuli. How about for self doubt? Rose quartz, chevron amethyst, and clear quartz. Yes, you are out of lapis lazuli. I'm out. I sold out. Man, I be trying to tell y'all. I be trying to tell y'all. See, she already said it. Something already sold out. What other questions y'all got? Also, if your order is over $50, use that code. Does it matter where you buy your crystals? Yes. Yes, it does. Now, listen, me, y'all might find me annoying when it comes to crystals because I'm that person that's like, like i like my stuff high quality period that's just me i like my stuff high quality so i am very picky about where i get crystals right which is why i created my own crystal shop number one when i was going out buying crystals i would go to people's places and get crystals their their crystals were such a high price and was not a great quality another thing is too is these people will have crystals 
and they would be heat treated. They would be manipulated. They would be overly colored. They would be fake. They would be light. They would be made of glass. And then they're charging all these prices. Like you got Target selling crystals. Like you gotta, you gotta make sure you get it from the right places. Cause then you're going to be like, Oh, why my crystal not giving me energy? And it's like, because it was man-made. It was made artificially. It's fake. You know what I'm saying? So my crystals are ethically sourced. They're from Zambia. They're from Zimbabwe. They're from Madagascar. They're from South Carolina. Like the pyramids that I had, my friend, she literally mined those crystals out of the, the for her pyramid. She mined the crystals herself from South Carolina and she put the shells from Hawaii. And everything is ethically sourced and sustainable. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the narcissist, rose quartz, chevron amethyst. You definitely need chevron amethyst. The reason why I say that, you need a third eye crystal to deal with the narcissist because you need to be able to see through illusions. Right? Top three money crystals. The top three money crystals, citrine, moss agate, and pyrite. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop to purchase. Listen, man, I would hate... I would hate for you to go into that crystal shop. You thinking that you got time. You over here like, I'll get it tomorrow. And then you checking out and it's and it's gone. Because that didn't happen so many times. Crystals, if you can't let go of someone. Rose quartz. Because you're dealing with your heart chakra. See through illusion. See through the smoke. Chevron amethyst. Crystals for trauma. Rose quartz. Also amethyst. What's the best crystal for self-love and confidence? For confidence, get carnelian. For self-love, use rose quartz. What about smoky quartz? Smoky quartz is really good for grounding. Smoky quartz is really good for peace. Smoky quartz is really good for manifesting. To prosper at work, get moss agate, citrine, or pyrite. For music, art, and creation, get carnelian. For balance and peace, get rose quartz, get amethyst, get clear quartz. How do you know if they're real? Well, I know they're real because I know where they're coming from. I know the, the mountain they're coming from. I know the country they're coming from. Plus, if you look at my crystals, you can see that they are specifically raw. They're coming straight off of the mountain. How do you clean your crystals? So I have selenite on my website that you can use. I also have um, Palo Santo on my website that you can use. Yes, you're able to mine them and sell them. A lot of times what the people do is they go to the mine location, they pay a certain fee and they're able to mine as many crystals as they want. And then I buy it from the people that mine them. What about protection? The best crystals for protection, labradorite, lapis lazuli, chevron amethyst, black tourmaline, black obsidian, tourmaline quartz. Crystals to deal with too much brain activity. Labradorite, clear quartz, chevron amethyst. Do you have descriptions on your site? Yes. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop site. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop. Also, if your order is over $50, use this code to get free shipping. What about motivation? For motivation, get tiger's eye and get fluorite. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. What crystal helps you speak up? Angelite. Angelite, lapis lazuli. Blue crystals help with your throat chakra, speaking up. To attract love, rose quartz. Do you have a discount code? Yes. If your order is over $50, use that code. Diamond is considered a crystal, but I don't know any, any healing benefits that come from it. How to put intent on crystals. Setting intentions, meditating with the crystals, looking at the crystals, and thinking about what you want that crystal to do for you. For work. Um, get moss agate for money get moonstone you can get tiger's eye or fluoride to stay focused to do shadow work do carnelian do smoky quartz do do um rose quartz do black tourmaline black obsidian when you're going to restock i restock bro i restock like twice a week bro when you see my website looking the way it is that's because it's always selling out and if you go on my website right now this is the most crystals that i've ever had What crystals protect your energy? Black tourmaline and black obsidian. What code? The code is ship me. Um, I'm not sure about opalite. I'm a Libra, but I've heard that opalite is literally man-made. So I don't really like man-made crystals like that. Crystals for loneliness. 
I would say probably rose quartz because that's an emotional kind of response. All right. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop. Now ask me all your questions, even for Zodiac signs. And the only reason why I'm rushing right now is because I know how my supporters are. If you're new here, you probably don't know, but I know how my supporters are. And when I talk about the crystals, they sell them out really fast. So if you're new here, you competing with a couple people to get whatever crystal that you're looking for. And you may be like, well, why am I competing here when I can get it somewhere else? Well, here's the thing. Man hurts specializes in having high quality crystals two they're ethically sourced and three they are very inexpensive because you can go on that website and you can definitely see that my prices you cannot top that all right so crystals for loving yourself rose quartz chevron amethyst for gemini get labradorite for taurus get green aventurine get pyrite get um moss agate for leo get sunstone get carnelian for gemini get labradorite get amethyst get rose quartz i'm scorpio what crystals do i need get smoky quartz get labradorite get black tourmaline get malachite get carnelian you know what i'm saying sagittarius carnelian get um get tiger's eye get pyrite moss agate uh malachite um citrine what about cancer how do i go to your website the link is in my bio click crystal shop the link is in my bio in my my sticks river the link is in my bio click crystal shop for cancer rose quartz carnelian green aventurine aries carnelian rose quartz malachite green aventurine pyrite moss agate malachite Tyler, you said Scorpio, get black obsidian, get black tourmaline, get smoky quartz, get silver sheen obsidian, get snowflake obsidian. For Aquarius, get lapis lazuli, amazonite, um, angelite, get uh, um, amethyst, what else? Rose quartz, malachite. Do you have to have them on you to work? Yes. For Capricorn, what crystals do I need? Tiger's eye, rose quartz, um, malachite, carnelian, amethyst. What's Taurus, pyrite, green aventurine, malachite, moss agate. For Gemini, get labradorite. For Capricorn, I told you, tiger's eye, carnelian. For Pisces, get angelite, blue lace agate, amethyst, carnelian, cancer, rose quartz. What one for Scorpio? Obsidian, snowflake obsidian. For Virgo, lapis lazuli, malachite, moonstone. For, Lab for Libra, moonstone, Sagittarius, Sag Look at me. I'm naming Sagittarius. Uh, and I'm only hurrying up because I know how y'all are, bro. The link is in the bio. Click Crystal Shop. Do you have to wear it as jewelry or would it work having? I recommend wearing it as jewelry. I recommend because that way the energy is able to affect you directly. All right. I, don't, I think I got a few pictures of some bracelets so look carnelian bracelets this is great for creativity my fire signs this is great for confidence um this is great for opening your third eye this is chevron amethyst great for opening your third eye this is great for seeing things for what they truly for, for what they truly are this is great for like i said opening your third eye african bloodstone is great for protection african bloodstone is great for protecting you from negative frequencies negative people the green aventurine is great for money. Moss agate, great for money. Malachite, great for changing your life. Money. Sardonyx is great for creativity. Fire signs. Selenite is really good for cleansing your energy space and other crystals. What's good for dealing with anger? If you're dealing with anger, do carnelian or rose quartz. So carnelian. Carnelian. And we've even had some nice bright, some nice necklaces, but these sold out. These sold out already. Everything is selling out so fast on the crystal shop. So that's why I try to tell y'all as soon as possible about the crystals. And y'all probably be like, Sticks, why are you going so fast? And it's because there are hundreds of people on the website at one moment. And I'll be trying to help y'all so y'all can get what it is that you're looking for. Like this one is fluorite. This is a crystal bracelet. This is fluorite. This is a crystal bracelet. This is great for focus. What happens if you, what happens or doesn't mean if you break a crystal if you break a crystal that means that that crystal has done what it was supposed to do it's time to give that other piece to somebody else and get a new crystal for digestion um get citrine citrine is really good for your solar plexus i believe and that's your navel or was that your sacral 
Is your steak or your navel? I believe citrine though. Citrine for sure. Healing sickness. Amazonite. Will you get carnelian necklaces? Yes, we're going to make some. So this is fluorite. Hold on, because I want to show y'all. Like, you know, y'all be talking about how I get my drip like what it is. So I'm trying to put y'all on. Shoot. And the only reason why I started a crystal shop because everybody was like, you know, create a business about what you love to do. And I was like, all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this is sunstone. Sunstone is, I personally wear sunstone for fame. And as you can see, we have 248 people in here, 400,000 followers. I think my sunstone working pretty well, you know? What else? What else? What else? What else we got? What else we got? My sunstone. Labradorite. So solar plexus, yeah. How do you feel about crystals from the crystal shop? From my crystal shop, they're amazing. But most of the time, other crystal shops are so whitewashed. Like, you know, I was like, man, y'all not being authentic in this crystal realm. Y'all just looking at money. Is your store in the bio? Yes, link is in the bio. Like, go, really, when you go to these crystal shops, right, find the owner and ask the owner about crystals and see if the owner really knows about crystals. Because that's how you know if somebody really loves what they do. Do you really know everything about, about your passion or your, your field? You know? When will you restock Labradorite? I just restocked it and it just sold out. So, you know, this is why I tell y'all, like, you know, make sure you put your phone number and email in so you can get, I'm not driving, so you can get um so you can get a message when things restart. You know, like that's that's the best thing I can do because I'm becoming so much more popular. And it's not to be like, oh, I'm becoming like, you know, I'm just keeping it real. I'm getting so many new followers, so more customers come in, things get really hard to to come by because things sell out so fast. You know, so this is why I be telling y'all like my 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 true, 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 true supporters. Make sure you have the phone number so you get a text message first. Yeah, bro, these crystal shots be whitewashed, man. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. That's not to say that white people can't have crystal shops. When I say whitewashed, I mean that you can tell that it's some corporate stuff. It's corporate. It's corporate. Crystals for money, citrine, pyrite, moss agate, like my crystal shop look at look at my even look at my pictures everything is methodical look at my pictures my pictures are very home based it's pictures of me holding the crystal because it's personal i don't want my business to feel like oh it's some corporate some corporate world that's not what this is about spirituality is a personal practice but here people are trying to make it a, a capitalistic type of business and trying to see well you know like bro like come on now like what you doing you know, do you sell sunstone? Somebody says, so power wash, not whitewash. Power wash, like, you know, you might, you might feel triggered. But according to black people, power wash does mean whitewash. Because white people tend to be doing the power. And that's not to say, oh, all white people are like this. But you're not going to be like, oh, like. Not all black people. You're going to be like black people went through slavery. Black people went through. Not every single black person was a slave. But black people went through slavery. You know what I'm saying? All these people trying to build their ego with spirituality. LMAO. So backwards. You know what it is? The thing is that people because you can tell when there's a real spiritual leader and where there is not i am a life path seven look it up and you'll understand i am a life path seven my whole purpose is about spiritual enlightenment you know i'm not triggered but can we say power washing instead of whitewashing that's all i'm saying you want me to change my wording so you don't feel comfortable so you don't feel uncomfortable no no because the word is whitewashed the word is the word is whitewashed i've never in my life heard power washed i've, I've never heard that before 
I'm sorry. You know? Like, and I understand the whole ego thing. Like, I'm a life path seven, so it makes sense why my life is what it is now. Like, my life path seven literally says that I was born and meant to teach. To teach. Somebody said I could power wash your car. Yeah, bro, that's power washing. You could power wash my car. You know what I'm saying? Any other questions about crystals? I was telling y'all about y'all zodiacs. I was telling y'all about y'all zodiacs. I was telling y'all about y'all zodiacs. For Capricorn, Tiger's Eye. The link is in the bio click crystal shop. The link is in the bio click crystal shop for Libra, Labradorite. Citrine, Pyrite, and Moss. That's for money. For Scorpio, get Obsidian. For Libra, get Labradorite. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. For Sagittarius, you sell sun, Sunstone. Sunstone sold out already, sweetie. That's what I be telling y'all. See, this the problem with y'all. You know what? And it's not a problem because I understand y'all done been manipulated so many times. I don't tell y'all that things sell out to just tell y'all that. Y'all attack me when something sells out. So that's why I give you a warning early. When I tell you to get something before the store sells out, that's because I know my support. I know the fan base. I know how they are. When I drop something, they get it. People come to me in real life, my friends and stuff like that, I'd be like, hey, can I, can I buy a crystal? I say, listen. We can go inside my house and check the crystal shop out, but there is not a lot that you can get because everybody else bought it. So your bet, even my friends, I say your best bet is to go online also. I'm, I don't got no reason to lie to you. I do this because I love this. I'm into crystals because I love this. Last night, I was, listen, y'all might laugh at me, but last night, uh, listen, your, your girl was buzzing. Your, gut, your girl was buzzing. Your girl was vibrating. Child I, child, I fell asleep. And that's another thing. Be careful falling asleep with these crystals. Child, I fell asleep with malachite, citrine, all these crystals on me. Woke up freaked out 3 a.m. Because I'm like, why am I vibrating? I got up. I said, oh, my God, these crystals still on me. And mind you, I was listening to sound frequencies, too. So it was like, I don't, you, like, bro, I don't. My family think I'm crazy because I be walking around with all these crystals on me. I be laying down and you, you like, you like, you like, Ori, why you, why you got that crystal on your head? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, listen, bro, I'm trying to balance my chakras. Get out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do this. I make specific trips. I be like, I tell my girl, I say, hey, let's go to the beach. Make sure you bring the crystals. I don't go nowhere without my crystals. I don't go nowhere without my crystals. My girl came to me today. She's like, she's like, oh, see, look, 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 look. Here's a perfect example. Here's a perfect example. Here's a perfect example. I got two crystals in my pocket right now. Forgot I even had crystals on me. I got two crystals in my pocket right now. What crystals do you think I got? I have two crystals in my pocket right now. I want to see who guess. I want to see who guess. I have two crystals in my pocket right now. What crystal do you think I have in my pocket? I don't think it's bad to wear a crystal on your ring finger. What crystal do I have in my pocket? Tiger's eye. Yes, I have tiger's eye. I have tiger's eye. What else? I have one more. What else? I have tiger's eye and what else? What's the other crystal? Come on now, why y'all not guessing? Y'all y'all guessing, but y'all wrong. Come on, Tiger's Eye, what else? What else? What else I got? Y'all don't know, huh? Selenite! 
the first person cologne sweet colleen colleen sweet you're right i have selenite on, in my pocket selenite i have this one on my website this is selenite and look listen you know your girl's serious because look tell me why i got i got crystals in my car like come on now your girl not playing i do this i got crystals in my car selenite i have these specific selenite balls on my website link in the bio link in the bio click crystal shop link in the bio click crystal shop this was some of the most highest quality tigers i ever had in my life wear your chevron amethyst my chevron girl you know i got my chevron amethyst is right there so this is sunstone right here in the top sunstone chevron amethyst selenite lapis lazuli tourmaline quartz and garden quartz on this arm we have pyrite we have obsidian we have carnelian we have rutile citrine we have yellow jade and regular citrine come on now i usually do have chevron on me but guess what i had got in the bracelet you sell moonstone um i think moonstone sold, sold out so we're gonna get some more make sure you guys follow me on instagram the link is in the bio also if your order is over 50 dollars, use the code ship me and make sure y'all check out my music man link in the bio click sticks is music man y'all gotta support me bro i'm out here you know protect me at all costs bro i'm out here trying to enlighten the youth man i'm trying to enlighten the youth y'all gotta help your girl out i can't get nowhere if y'all not helping me out that's why i try to give y'all the sauce so y'all can tell people yo man she got the sauce come on now if i'm giving you the information for free the least you could do is just spread my name out you know you know what i'm saying and if you do listen to my music, if you do listen to my music, if you do listen to my music, what's your favorite song for me? If you do listen to my music, what's your favorite song by me? If you listen to my music, what's your favorite song by me? What was the second crystal? So the two crystals was selenite and tiger's eye. Selenite is really good for cleansing other crystals. Selenite is also really good for cleansing your space. Selenite is also really good for cleansing your area. And it also helps with manifesting. I love remind yourself. I love remind yourself. Is your music on Spotify? Yes. All you have to do is go on Spotify, Apple Music, and just look up Sticks, Space, River. So just look Sticks, to River. But follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys check out my crystal shop. I'm about to get off. If you have any questions about what crystals to get, DM me on Instagram. All right? But the crystal shop is in the link in the bio. And the code to get free shipping is in the comments. All right? I love you guys, and I'm out. I love you guys and I'm out. Make sure you guys subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. All right. Instagram is I'm Sticks River. And make sure you guys follow the TikTok account too. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to follow. All right. I love you guys and I'm out.